Hello my crafty friends, this is part two of my design team project for Louise Heinzel. I posted yesterday the video on the two junk journal background pages that I created and I'm adding a tag and an index card in the same theme so it's going to be a set. I will link the video for the matching background pages in the description below. For the tag I'm using watercolour paper. I've just cut it down to a size that I like that I can work with. I haven't measured anything and for the index card I'm using what I call a flash card. It's got lines on the one side and it's plain on the other and made of a, of a cardstock. It's not really thick but it works well for this. On the tag I've done a little bit of stenciling with texture paste and a stencil. Not a lot, just very little as this matches the background paper and I've left the index card without any stenciling. I've then added some gold acrylic paint. This gives it a beautiful luster that sort of shines through the layers. I really like that look. I'm now adding some droplets of oxide ink and I'm using a wet paintbrush and my spray bottle to help disperse and spread the ink. I'm using a few different colours to get the effect I want and I always start with the lightest and go to the darkest. This is my third colour. I will have all the colours and what I've used in this video in the description below with links. You don't have to use inks, especially if you don't have any, you don't have to specifically go out and buy inks. You can do this kind of effect with watercolour paints or acrylics or even gelato crayons. The trick is to use quite a lot of water to help the paint flow and blend and you get all the different layers of colours and where they blend you get then even additional colours. Just make sure you dry it well in between because the paper, the paper can get quite soggy. I just keep adding until I have a look that I'm happy with. And for my final colour, I'm adding a dark brown, which I think adds a really good contrast to the whole project. To decorate these tags, I'm going to use some images of vintage people, some black and white images, and these are available from a downloadable kit from Louise Heinzel. I will have the link to her Etsy shop in the description below as well. And I love this because it's sort of a one-stop shop. You don't have to spend hours on Google or Pinterest trying to find images of vintage people. There's multiple sheets available either in sepia well, they're actually available in sepia and black and white on the same listing and it's all together there's children there's couples there's men there's women there's all different ones so it's just really really easy to use and that's why i like to use it so i'm using a gentleman on the left because i like the masculine look of that card and then a sitting lady on the right and then i'm just going to add a few additional elements just to finish off the cards Here I'm just using my X-Acto knife on a board just to cut that negative area between his face and his arm. I 
I really like to use die cuts and I have quite a collection of them. I sort of buy them whenever I see them in a craft shop or online if I like them. And I tend to open the bags and just put them all in a container. So I don't actually always know which kit or pack they come from. I've been asked multiple times on other videos, what is the die cut um, kit that I've used or what is the range? And I actually can't always tell you because like I said, they're all just muddled up in one big container. Maybe going forward, I will try and keep them separated. So it's easy for me to share that with you. For example, the ruler that I've got at the bottom of this card and the little tag at the top, I'm not quite sure which kit that's from. I don't even know if it's Kazacraft or if it's just from eBay that I bought it. Um, so I'm gonna try and keep better record of my die cuts. I'm continuing the theme from the background pages that I created with the butterfly and the clocks and I wanted sort of them to, because I want them to be matching I'm trying to add elements that connect all of them together. You will see what I mean when you see the background pages. The glue stick doesn't always stick because of the texture paste and all the layering on the bottom card so I just use my hot glue gun. I'm just going to punch a hole and then add a bread and then these two elements are finished. I will show you in the end of this video I will have a photo with all four elements together, the background pages and these tags so you can see the full set. Just to mention again, the vintage people are available from Louise Heinzel on Etsy. I'd like to thank you very much for watching my video. I do hope you enjoyed it. I'd love it if you subscribed to my channel and hit the little bell button so you can get notifications of all my new videos coming up. I'll see you again soon. Bye.